everybody, my name is Born Idea Fear, I'm very shy to laugh, and you know what it is today, art, but we're reviewing. Now, obviously, I won't use this extremely obnoxious yellow color for everything. However, in the main lesson, before the review, we set up this gigantic circle factory. So, this circle factory is meant to provide us with, you know what, circles. So we're going to be growing circles for the next four days here, as we have about four reviews with circles left. So I'm going to take one from the circle factory, grow another. So now, what are our, well, we reviewed them last time. However, for a review again, then we can say that an arc is generally a region of a circle circumference between two points on that circle. So now, let me harvest another circle because I think I need another one. Circle of, bleh, sorry, a slip of the tongue. Arcs come in many different types. Uh, only three actually, but I want to sound cool. So first of all, there's the small arc. So, here is our very small, tiny arc. So, this is not actually called small arc, but rather a minor arc. There is also a type called The semicircle. So the semicircle looks like this. So let's do that and do that. And so as I fill it in, this is the semicircle, which is exactly half of a circle. Alright, so here is the semi-circle. Now, for the last one, the major arc, we're going to need another one from the circle factory. So, we're going to have to produce two more to help us. We hope this thing will never be depleted. We we'll need so many circles in one episode to deplete this. And finally, we have the large arcs which look like this. You might say, Saborno, that's just a small arc. But it's not. Because if we do this, then we remember that we're not actually doing a small arc, but a large arc. So here is our comically large arc. Looks a little like Pac-Man. So, here is our major arc. Now remember, an arc is this entire region. It's just this. This is just to help you remember. It's only on the outskirts. So anyway, now there are two types of angles that can make arcs. So, first of all, there's the central angle, which has rays that protrude from the center of a circle, thereby making it a central angle. However, there is also the inscribed angle, which is an angle that has its vertex on one of the points on the circle. And then the rays protrude from that point. It's also always acute or right. It can never be obtuse or it's not inscribed. It's just an angle that shares its vertex with the semicircle or the circle. So anyway, that was our review for today. Looked like the circle factory wasn't that depleted anyway. So thank you everybody 
for watching. This is Arx. You probably don't need to look back since this is a review. You can look back to the main lesson, which is on a different platform. And finally, thank you everybody for watching. Oh wait, this is not the Berry Science Lab watermark. That's not the Berry Science Lab watermark. Uh, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.